In this tutorial, we are going to learn use ref hook in depth, which is very useful hook if you know how to use it. And 80% of developers misunderstood this hook. So let's understand this properly. So what is use ref? Use ref allows us to access DOM elements and also for creating mutable variables which will not re-render the component. These are two most common use cases of use ref hook. First, let me show you how to create a mutable variable. So in this example, I create one input field and on change event, I update this name state with the current input value and display the name here. Now imagine we want to count how many renders happen when we input the name. When I teach this hook to my first students, they ask me why we can't use use state for this. And I think you might have the same question. So let's see this live why we don't use use state hook for count renders. So first I create one more state variable and give name count and pass zero as the default value. Now in use effect, I will update the count by one for each render. So I write set count previous arrow function previous plus one and after name, I will display count variable. Now save it and take a look. See, count is constantly updating because when this component is rendered, it will update this count variable by one. And because that state variable is updated, the component is rendered again and again. So we are stuck in an infinite loop because we use use state. So let's solve this with a use ref hook. So I remove this state variable and use effect and import use ref from react library. Now write use ref and here we can give default value same as use state. Now this function returns an object with one property that is current. So let's store it in variable count and let's console this variable. See we get object with one current property. We can update or show this value by using count.current property. So here write count.current and save the changes. Now let's update this value when component rendered. So write use effect count.current equals to count.current plus one. Save it and take a look. When we type in input box, count is updating by one. So first use case of use ref is to create a mutable variable without causing re-render. Now let's see the second use case of use ref which is accessing the DOM elements. So in react, we can add a ref attribute to element for access it directly. Let's understand with the example. So here we have one input box and button. And when we click on this button, this function will execute. Now I want to change the width of this input when we click on this button. We can do that in vanilla JavaScript by using document.getElementsById or by class name. But in React, we don't need to do that. We directly use useRef and we get that element in variable. Let me show you that. So first import useRef hook and write useRef and store that in variable. Now give this input one property, ref equals to input element, which is the name of our ref variable. Now let's console current value. See, we get that input field in the current property. Now I am going to change this input width to 300 pixel. So as we do in vanilla JavaScript, write input element dot current dot style dot width equals to 300 pixel. Here input element dot current is our input field. So save it and take a look. See when we click on this button input width is increased to 300 pixel. Now let's focus on this input when we click on this button. So back to VS code and in the same function I have to add guess what right input element dot current dot focus. So save the changes and take a look. When we click on this button, input width will increase and input is in focus. 
so it's the same as we do in vanilla javascript just use input element dot current and after that you can access all javascript methods for the element now some of you might ask how can we know which methods we can use with elements and how can we remember it so the answer is you don't have to remember any method name let me show you my trick to see all the methods we can use with elements so here simply remove this current property and save it now in console you can see this input element object with current property now click on this little arrow and again click on this arrow so here you can see all methods which we can apply on this element for example we want to apply style so scroll down to the bottom and click on this icon to see more property and here you can see style property click on it and you can see all styles property simple as that so let's recap what we learned use ref is allow us to create mutable variables which don't cause re-render and it is very useful to access dom elements without writing document.getElement by id or by class name so here is a syntax of use ref hook here we can pass the default value of this variable and it is optional this variable has one object and that object contains only one property which is current if you want to access or update it we have to use variable dot current we can also access elements by using the ref attribute and remember with the help of console we can see all methods so i hope you understand the use ref hook if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section or on whatever social media you want to i see you in the next tutorial with the next hook have a nice day